G'day everyone and welcome to your Tuesday footy feed. Well, Gold Coast superstar Gary Ablett has given the strongest indication yet that he wants to finish his career in Queensland. He still has two years to run on his current contract after this one, but has indicated he's pushing already for a contract extension. Speaking ahead of his 250th game this weekend, Ablett revealed his desire to stay at the expansion club. You know, I've got another, another two years after this on my contract. Um, you know, and uh, hopefully the club will extend it from there. I've, I've approached him about uh, negotiating a couple of times, but I said, hey, I'm just, we'll, we'll, wait to, we'll wait to see how you go next year. <laughs> Ablett has played 57 games since joining the Suns in 2011. A calm James Hurd has again been greeted by news cameras at Windy Hill, again refuting rumours and speculation about his job. Last night, Crows legend Mark Rusciuto took to Adelaide Radio, claiming Hurd had been told to stand down by Thursday or someone else would make the decision for him. The club was quick to deny it, and so too was Hurd first thing this morning. It just seems to be a lot of rumour in your window that has no fact to it. So. How frustrated are you getting by these rumours, James? Uh, I think if you track us for the last six months, there's no need to get frustrated. It's um, been from, you know, Australian Federal Police raiding my house to being sacked. It's, uh, there's been a lot of unfounded rumours that we'll move through. And the bad news keeps coming for the Dons, with defender Courtney Dempsey ruled out for the remainder of the home and away season with a hamstring complaint. Still on injuries, and St Kilda defender Reece Stanley's season is over after he broke his collarbone in Saturday night's loss to Brisbane. The 22-year-old will have surgery later in the week. Confirmation Lions veteran Jonathan Brown has suffered a partial plantar fascia tear. Now, it would have actually been better for him to tear it completely. Coach Michael Voss says he wouldn't put it past Brown, trying the Robert Harvey technique of jumping off a table to snap it. Anything is possible with Jonathan Brown, so, uh, I mean, this bloke takes on cars, so um, it wouldn't surprise me whether he has some sort of plan like that in, in mind. The 31-year-old is yet to decide if he's going to play on next season. Voss says he'd like him to. Geelong midfielder Paul Chapman will play in the VFL again this weekend, but the coach says the veteran will be considered for the club's Round 21 clash against West Coast. To be honest, the Perth trip doesn't worry us too much. Um, with regard to Chappie's back, we, um, we put a lot of work into the, the preparation of our players. It's done on an individual basis, um, but we don't think sitting on a plane for three hours um, is going to be a huge hurdle for Chappie to overcome. Now. Alan Christensen is in the mix to return against Port Adelaide on Saturday. And GWS youngster Zach Williams is the Round 19 at NAB Rising star nominee. The 18-year-old who was elevated off the rookie list gathered 21 touches in the Giants' drought-breaking win over the Ds. Big shock. Um, they, they lay on camera and actually got me up, stood me up in front of the group and told me about um, I got the NAB Rising star nomination this weekend. Looks like a pretty nice day in Western Sydney. Williams is the third giant to get a nomination this season. And that is your footy feed for this Tuesday. Keep up to date with all of the very latest AFL news throughout the night online, on the app, on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Matt Thompson from all the team here at afl.com.au. Catch you soon.